Okay, in this video, I'm going to share with you my custom made automation for Reddit, which I like to call as Reddit Scout. And this is extremely useful for people who are looking for product market fit or just scouting the market for what people are saying or having problems with or trying to find a solution for so that they can develop products on that niche. So let me quickly run this and show you what it does. So I have chosen the SaaS subreddit for this particular example and what this will do is it will go and scout the whole subreddit and return the first 10 rising posts execute a filter which will pass only the posts which have more than 10 upvotes so that we don't get garbage and then it will summarize and figure out the vibe of that particular post figure out if it's worth our time depending upon which industry we are looking for and then draft a helpful comment for us and store everything in an Airtable base. So let me just quickly run it for you before we go forward and I explain how to make it. So let's run this. This is done very quickly and we have two items out of filter and the summary is done. The word checking is done. The comment is being created and it should come in our Airtable base right now. Right, so let me just show you what it has figured out for us. So select the tab and this is what it has come with so this is the link of the post and this is what the post is about so this is somebody who has built a tool to identify the best online communities target is startups pain point is difficulty in finding the right online audience and solution is that it has and the solution is that he has made a product let us just quickly see what the post looks like okay so this is the whole post and my automation was able to figure out what this post was about and then figure out a summary and see if it's worth replying depending upon which industry you are in and then has written a very and then has written a very organic and useful comment for this particular post. Similarly, let's see about this one. Let's copy the link and then we go here and it's a long post and it has figured out that the subject is AI powered visibility tool for your brand and summary is this and comment is this. So it has written, I'll check out Peekaboo and Peekaboo is what? this particular poster has linked it with so this is completely automated you can go to any subreddit define what your goals are define how many posts you want to take out or which category of posts you want to take out what is the filter you want to do like you can do if there are upwards greater than 5, 10, 15, 20 or you can add more conditions depending upon all these variables and then run all of these automations and then just sit back and have your AI market research done and presented in a nicely formatted Airtable base. How cool is that? And let me give you one more example. So let's choose the subreddit as small business. Okay. And then let's run this workflow now and let's see what it comes with. So it's filtered out six items right now for us and it's summarizing all the six items. It's figuring out if it's worth our time or not. And then it's going to create and draft our responses onto our Airtable base just about now. So let's go here and let's wait for it to come. And right here we have all these. So one of these is not worth replying for. Let me see. Okay, UX firm in prices, situation, target market. The, the firm is at the edge of collapse with no clear path, any small project. So this is not something that they're looking to build a product for. This particular case needs, I think, an investor. 
Yeah, something like that. So it has figured out that it's not worth the reply. So we won't touch it. And whatever is worth our reply, we can choose all these summaries and we can just figure out that, okay, this is former business owner. They might want our help in. So this is going to be incredibly helpful. And we have everything in a neatly formatted Airtable base with everything like a human would write. Now let's go to the hard part, which is explaining how to make this automation. Okay, so let's do from the very starting. Let me just boot up my N8N instance, which I'm using offline on my Mac. So I'll just go to the terminal, press N8N. And that's it. I have to press O and if it open in my browser. And I have to go here. And this is my automation completely offline on my machine. And if you don't know how to do that, just go to my channel and look for this particular video in which I have explained the fastest way to install N8N locally without any Docker installation or any of those complex procedures just by one line. So once that is done, let's come back to our automation. So let's put in our first node, which is the Reddit node. So I'll press tab and I'll look for Reddit. And here I have to go for get many posts so after you do that you'll have to link your account via api and for that you have to create an application on reddit so let me show you how to do that so you open the docs and you straight away go to third party app right so you click here and then you will create an app name it whatever you want and these are irrelevant the only thing relevant right now is this one the redirect uri so for that you have to select this one as your redirect URL because I am locally hosted it's saying localhost for me but for you if you are on cloud it will be a personalized URL for your particular account and once you do that you'll have a client ID and a client secret which you can just put in here and your account will be added now once that is done this is the configuration that you have to do so you have to select resource as post operation as get many and subreddit is something that you have to select from where you want your data from. So you can have any subreddit. Just make sure you have to also have this backslash in front of the name. And then you can define a limit. Usually I will have let's say 20, 30, up to 50 as a limit. Because I don't want to go beyond my limitations on the Reddit API. And you can select category. Whatever category you want to get post from. The top posts are the top posts of that subreddit. The hot posts are the ones which are having the most conversations. The new posts are the recent ones and the rising ones are the ones that have the ability to become hot or top post in future. So I think these are the ones that I would be looking for personally, but you can choose any of the others. Once that is done, we'll create a filter node because we have to filter out what we want to work on and not all the 50 posts that this node is going to give us. So filter node is just a if node which will filter out only the things which respect our particular condition and in our case that is if the upvotes are greater than 10 and let me execute this node to tell you where to find the upvotes so this would be your default json that will come from this node which we just created now here hidden inside would be the up nodes so this is the count of upvotes that this particular post is having and if we just drag and drop right here it will map this to every single run that this node will do and you don't have to change it again and again so this shows that this particular post is having nine upvotes and we are having filter of 10 so this will not pass through so let me just test this example right so true branch is two items and false branch is eight items so using this node it has automatically filtered out the eight posts which do not respect this particular filter and two which do you can also have more conditions like you can have if they are gilded or not if they are like top awarded type or not there are so many combinations that you can choose from i wanted to make it simple so i have just chosen the number of upvotes right so once this is done now we have to create an ai node which is going to summarize and figure out the vibe of this particular post which has gotten filtered from this node so for that, press tab and select AI and AI agent. And here you will just simply connect a chat model. Now I have selected Gemini as my chat model because that is practically free. You don't even have to spend money on these automations. So that's always preferred. Now let me just show you what I have done here. 
So in this node, I have selected define below as my source prompt and this is my prompt. So you can pause the video and copy this prompt. So I have briefed it to just tell me the summary and the summary should immediately tell what the post is about, the target market, the pain point of the user and what kind of solution the user is looking for. So this is gonna take this input, which is the actual post text and give us only the summary in this particular format, right? So once this is done, let me test this step for you as well. So this is the whole post and it's gonna come with this particular output. So if you can't see it, this is what it has come up with using this input, which is really good. I don't have to go through all of this post myself, but instead just go to the summary and figure out if it's worth my time or not. So the next node is also going to be an AI agent, but the prompt is going to be different. So the prompt is going to be based on this output. Tell me if the comment is worth replying to or not. And I'm going to take this output and just put it as a wildcard JSON, right? Only output yes or no, no explanations needed. So it will figure out that if this post is worth applying for, or if it's like a promotional post or a spammy post, it's going to filter all of that automatically for you. And in all of these, I have chosen Gemini as my chat model. And inside Gemini, I have chosen the 2.0 flashlight as the specific model because it's first of all, super fast and it's free and it's perfect for this task at hand. Next up, this agent is going to draft a short but helpful message replying to this comment and only output the comment no explanations needed and i have prompted it to draft and put the comment exactly as a pro user would so that it's not coming out as an ai reply and it's actually helpful so we are not spamming we are actually helping the people by commenting these and in turn also helping ourselves by figuring out what is worth commenting for now once this is done we have to just connect our a table base and for that again we have to create our access token let me show you where that access token is so we go to account and we go to api keys developer hub and here we can create a token and new token and just name it and in the scopes we have to select data records read data records write and base schema basis read and we can add all resources and that's it. This is all what you need to do. And you can create a token and then pass it on here and connect your Airtable base. Now, once that is done, you can select resource as record, operation as create, and whatever name you have given to your base. In my case, I have given the name as Little Scout. And this is the name of my base, which you can just map from here. Uh, table is uh, table one, like that. Now it's always better to map each column manually because I can't be sure if the automatic version is gonna be correct every single time, you know. So from here, I have just, let me run this node for you first. So in this one, I have chosen the subreddit one from the first node, which is this one. And from here, this one is what I have to drag and drop right here to map it to this particular column. Okay, uh, then the link comes from the if node, the summary comes from the summary and wipe node, which is this one. So the summary comes from this, the output like that. And the post ID comes from if node and the reply option comes from the agent two, which is right here. The output is right here. And the comment, which is the final one is gonna come from our last agent, agent three, which is the actual comment, right? So once this is done, this is the whole workflow that you need to create and you can have a trigger so if i delete this this is my manual trigger so you can define a scheduled trigger which can run every morning for you and then just like choose the time whenever you want it to run and then present all those findings inside your scout table and then you can whenever you have time you can just look through what looks interesting enough and then have that data as the data point to make your decisions regarding building or commenting or replying to all those actual users who are looking for your solution. So that's how you can do market research and probably find your product market fit using my Reddit Scout N8N automation. Let me know in comments if you found this useful and I'm going to create more useful automations for you coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. See you in the next one.